Hi, in this video, I will be showing you problem number 15 of chapter 7, section 3. Evaluate the integral, integral 0 through a, 7x square times square root of a square minus x square dx. So, we know that every time we have a square root of a square minus x square or a square plus x square or x square minus a square, we have to refer to the stable and make the appropriate substitution. Also keep in mind from your notes uh, what theta range in each case is and also um, refer to the same table uh, for the trigonometric identity we will be using in each particular case. So here we have integral square root of a square minus x square which is the first one square root of a square minus x square then x equal to a sine theta. So, we will make the substitution x equal to a sin theta. So, dx would be a cosine theta d theta. Whenever you change the variable, you have to also change the limits, the corresponding limits. So, the limits of x are 0 through a. So, now we have to find out the new limits with the transformation x equal to a and a sin theta x equal to a sin theta and we have to figure out what the corresponding theta values are the lower limit for x is 0 so 0 is a sin theta so sin theta is 0 and therefore theta would be 0 and the upper limit is a for x, so a sin theta would be a, so sin theta is 1, so theta would be pi by 2, half of pi. So if I call the original integral as i, so I can write i as integral 0 to a 7x square times square root of a square minus x square dx. So, I can take the 7 out of the integral being a constant. Now, I am going to write everything in terms of theta. So, I have to use the new limits 0 through pi by 2. So, x square which is square of x it is a square sine square theta square root of a square minus a square sine square theta dx would be a cosine theta d theta. So, this would become 7 integral 0 through pi by 2 a square sine square theta. In this you notice a square is common inside the radical. So, this can be written as a square times 1 minus sine square within the radical but 1 minus sine square is cosine square by Pythagorean identity. Keep in mind everything is within the radical. So, if you take the radical out, so it will be radical of a square cosine square, it will be a cosine then there is an outside a cosine, a cosine theta d theta. So, it is integral 7 times integral 0 through pi by 2 a square a a that would be a to the power 4 and we have sine square theta then cosine theta cosine theta that would be cosine square theta. So, 7 is outside which is a constant a to the power 4 that is also a constant which can be taken out. So, integral 0 through pi by 2 sin square theta cosine square theta d theta is 7 a to the power of 4 integral 0 through pi by 2 can write this as sin theta cosine theta the whole square d theta so 7 a to the power 4 outside integral 0 through pi by 2 
sin theta cosine theta can be written as a sine of 2 theta over 2. So it is sine of 2 theta over 2, the whole square d theta. Recall sine of 2 theta equal to 2 sine theta cosine theta. So if you divide both sides by 2, you get sine theta cosine theta equal to sine of 2 theta over 2, which is what we are using over here. So this can be written as 7 a to the power 4. So 2 square below, so that will be over 4 below. An integral 0 through pi by 2 sine square 2 theta d theta. So anytime you evaluate um, either sine square type or cosine square type, uh, we have to use an identity, trigonometric identity of double angle. So sine square 2 theta would be 1 minus cosine of 4 theta over 2. So it is from trigonometry. So we can write i as integral um, i equal to 7a to the power 4 over 4 integral 0 through pi by 2. Sine square 2 theta is 1 minus cosine of 4 theta over 2 d theta. Now it is 7 a to the power 4 divided by 4 times 2 which is 8 integral 0 through pi by 2 1 minus cosine of 4 theta d theta which is 7 a to the power 4 over 8 integral of 1 that is a theta and sine of 4 theta over 4 integral of cosine 4 theta sin 4 theta over 4, 0 through pi by 2. So, 7 a to the power 4 over 8 times, plug in the upper limit, which is pi by 2. So, if you plug in theta equal to pi by 2 in the second term, so that will become um, an even multiple of pi for sin, which will be a 0. Uh, so, lower limit, everything becomes 0. So it becomes pi minus 0, minus 0, minus 0 type. So which will be 7a to the power 4 over 8 times pi over 2. Or it is 14 pi a to the power 4 over, over 16. So it is 7 on top, 7 pi a to the power 4 over 16. Hope this video helps.